You can't. You know, it's, it's, she's asking me personally to come back and merge with my counterpart to defeat whatever this evil is. But I can help. I gotta do this alone. serves me. I was in headquarters. I just said goodbye to Davis. I got a letter from somebody named Madam Aura telling me she needed my help in this other land, this alternate world I'd crossed over to. Davis and I were on a mission. He had a rip in his space-time code. It was causing us to be pulled into these other, other realities. One of them, I was pulled into a, like a post-apocalyptic world. It had been overrun, believe it or not, by vampires. Anyway, it didn't last very long, but in the letter she said she implanted a memory of herself, and I do remember... I am simply called Madam Aura. I am the watcher over all things. I'm the watcher of life and of death. It's hard to explain, Captain. I... I have these visions of doing things here for the past, it seems, two or three weeks, experiencing the things he's been experiencing, seeing the things he's been seeing. I'm inside his body, Captain. I'm scanning all these alternate realities, but there's just too many of them. I'm never going to find them. Well, to make the long story short, there was a tear in my jacket. We were ending up in alternate universes, and, um, you know, in one of them I was a soldier and out in the woods. Another one I was a captain of a ship. He was fighting a guy with a copper mask. Apparently, when he was in that alternate universe, somebody must have slipped this in his jacket. Nick Hazard, you have a job to do. God is with you. Now go and do what must be done. Max, where are you, man? Come on, Max. I knew I should have went with him. <laughs> 